Hello, welcome to Dateline London, the programme that brings together some of British journalism's leading commentators to debate with international journalists whose Dateline is London. This week, high noon in the Chiltern Hills, as Cabinet Ministers finally agree on Brexit, now they just have to persuade the European Union. And Donald Trump's European tour via Windsor Castle, NATO headquarters and tete-a-tete -tete with Vladimir Putin. With me to discuss those stories, David Aronovich, columnist for The Times newspaper, Jeff McAllister, an American writer and broadcaster, Maria Margaronis of The Nation and the British Conservative commentator Alex Dean. Welcome to all of you. Good to have you with us on a very interesting weekend. I said it was high noon at Chequers, the British Prime Minister's country residence. Perhaps I should have said high tea. This was the moment when Theresa May had to corral her disputatious, at times disloyal cabinet colleagues to accept a single UK negotiating position on Brexit. We'll be out of the single market, but we'll harmonise our trade and goods with EU standards, not on services where the UK will go its own way, though even here it wants strong reciprocal arrangements with the European Union. We'll be out of the customs union, but in a new customs territory, and the EU's freedom of movement is replaced by a mobility framework, so Europeans can study and work here and we can do the same in the EU. The European Court of Justice won't have jurisdiction with Dateline to analyse what has happened at that NATO meeting and indeed how Donald Trump has been received here in the UK. From all of us on the programme until the same time next week, that's Dateline London. Thanks for your company. Goodbye. Hello there. It is shaping up to be yet another sunny Saturday for most of us. In fact, the weekend as a whole brings plenty more dry weather with lots of hot sunshine. Now, there is a 